in the previous video we show that by exporting a rule that has uh, you know uh, uses some uh, adapters that we added that we define uh, reference sets uh, uh, and building blocks we see how exporting the rule the content management tool drag all that components uh, together but what if we want to export things like an individual uh, parser or individual DSM. Well, notice these keywords in here because we're going to be using in, uh, using them right now. It's very much the very same procedure as we showed before. For example, the blue code proxy that we define for that for that rule. I mean, all we need to do is put the keyword sensor device and put the name of the actual uh, DSM custom DSM and the tool will find the ID that's 514 that we want and as we did before I could actually export that individual DSM as a separate file but I'm not gonna do that Let you'll see why let's what happen if we want to export a reference uh, set for example in our previous uh, rule that we exported there was this uh, website called restricted websites in which we put the URLs of the of the site that we don't want people to visit we can query with the content management tool what's the ID of that reference set and we get the actual ID number which is 36 and as we did before we can actually export that reference set and if we put this particular flag dash dash include reference data element it's actually going to even export the reference set with the actual content that exists on that machine very nice but I'm not going to do that and get it in a separate file because what you will see me doing is I'm going to build all this and put it into a single kind of package and that's what I actually uh, want to export which is what happened uh, uh, similar to what will happen with the uh, rule but with the rule we did not include the uh, reference uh, data elements so once I have gathered in the text file and notepad, whatever, the IDs of all the elements that make the package of the complex uh, system that I want to move from my development environment into my production one or moving a demo from one system to another. So I just go ahead and put all that content into a, a file in the same directory uh, that we were working before, in this particular case, a root. So once I have that onto the file, I just uh, simply save the file. And I'm going to issue a single command that is going to say, well, go ahead and into that, uh, that particular file that you just created, uh, IDs to export, this one over here, read what's in there and import and export everything as a single package, a zip file, small zip file that will contain all that information. Now, all you need to do is issue this uh, command which is exporting but reading into that file that we created before with the option to include all the uh, data set uh, reference uh, data that was in in there and notice that this generates something similar that what we did with the rule because the rule knows all that carries and drags all that stuff but in here we specifically specify what we want part of that package and notice that in this case in the reference data element there are the six uh, URLs that we had in our uh, uh, in our uh, reference set. I'm here in the in the admin tab and going to reference website, and these are the six uh, uh, websites that are gonna fly as uh, part of the export process uh, on that zip file. Now all is left to do is move this file to the other machine for whatever means you want file zilla, file transfer, USB key, whatever you want and then go into the extension management and import that file and you're gonna get all that package nicely moved from your development or test system into your production one. It is that easy.